Hi guys, my name is Jasmine and today we're going to be working with patterns and complementary colors. Some of the vocab that we're going to be learning today are complementary colors, pattern, repetition, and detail. The supplies that we have today are paper, color pencils, regular pencils, sharpies, and crayons. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start with our paper, and we're gonna draw on it directly. So you can start with color pencils if you want, or you can start with Sharpie, or just go right in with crayons and color pencils. But we're gonna make a pattern, which is a repetition of color line form. If you look up here, this is a pattern, especially the outside where the rectangles are. There's a pattern with shape and line. So we're going to be just making fun things like this. Or if you'd like, you can use your hand and draw lines through it, and that's also a pattern. It's a different pattern, but this is what I'm going to be doing today. So just like up there, I'm just going to outline my hand. doesn't have to be perfect, can be really messy, can be fun, you can have alien fingers if you want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna just make some lines, some wavy lines, they're gonna cross each other. It's not really planned out, just having fun. I'm also going to add some circles in here and some more of a pattern. And if you want to draw outside of your shape, outside of your hand shape, your triangle, circle, whatever you decided to do, you can do that too. some triangles. Triangles are one of my favorite shapes. Okay. So before we dive into this and start coloring it, I'm going to teach you guys about complementary colors. Complementary colors, if you look on a color wheel, they are the colors that are across from each other. So there are six basic pairs of complementary colors, um, two of those being in each pair, of course. So you have red and green, which are Christmas colors, but those are complementary colors. And when you put them together, they sort of make each other pop more. They make it sort of seem brighter and more fun. Violet and yellow are another two complementary colors, and blue and orange are another two. Those are the basic pairs of complementary colors. So for this piece, unlike this piece up here, which uses the pairs um, purple and yellow, I'm going to do this with orange and no, let's do let's do Christmas colors. So let's do red and green. And if you want, you can use both crayons and both color pencils, which that's what I'm going to do. And you just go in and you start coloring your pattern. Like I said, you can use both color pencils and crayons. If you have markers, you can use markers, you can use whatever color you want to use. And I think what's fun about patterns is you can make it how you want to make it. If you want to make 
your shape red and also the space around it red, you can do that. Or you can do like how I'm deciding to do it and um, to make them different. Also think about how hard you're pressing down on your crayon, your color pencil, that makes it darker. You kind of get a different shade of green, a different shade of red, or whatever other colors you're using. And if you're working on this and you decide that you want to have more shapes in it, you can decide that too. And if you don't want to, that's fine. If you add more shapes, that's called adding detail. Detail is what we've already sort of done here, is sort of defining the pattern, the circles, the triangles, the lines, those are all details that we've added to our handprint here. to be split. I don't want, I personally don't want my greens with the greens. I want it to all look a little bit different so I can make sure that each of my complementary colors stand out, that they don't run into, the reds don't run into the reds and the greens don't run into the greens. Also make your name like fun bubble letters and you can color your name in complementary colors. Again, those complementary color pairs make each other sort of stand out a little bit more. So there's violet and yellow, there's green and red, there's blue and orange.
you would make several of these and put them all together. I think that also sounds really fun. Like you can do one that's green and red, you can do one that's yellow and purple, you could do one that is blue and orange. So again, we learned about our complementary colors, which are colors that cross from each other on the color wheel, which those include uh, green and red, which is what we use today, orange and blue, and violet and yellow. We also learned about pattern, which is again what we did today. I, we took our hand, we outlined it, we drew some lines in there, we made some shapes, we repeated things, and we also learned about detail, which are the smaller things that we did, like our lines and our circles and triangles. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.